Hello, welcome to KAIS EE Computer Division. My name is Yuji, and I'm a PhD candidate at the Data Intelligence Lab. Hi, I am Adiba, a PhD candidate at the Networking and Mobile Systems Lab. Hi, I'm Professor Stephen Huang. I research data science and machine learning. Hi, I'm Professor Tong Su Han. My research area is cloud and network systems. Hello, my name is Professor Song Ju Lee, and my research area is mobile computing systems. So, can you provide us with an overview of the research areas? Sure, I'd love to do that. So, we focus on high-impact research on practical computing systems based on fundamental innovations. Our research area spans machine learning, data science, computer operating systems and architecture, computer networks, wireless and mobile systems, system security, robotics, and computing theory. Thank you, Professor. Could you highlight some cool research happening in the field of cloud networks and security in our division? Sure, we have many exciting activities going on. In the field of cloud computing and networking, we're highly visible worldwide with strong research on diverse topics. Recently, we have applied deep learning to enhance the quality of internet video streaming for live and on-demand content. The video showing here uh, shows some of its highlights. We also work on more fundamental aspects of cloud networking, including network transport layer design for data centers, user-level networking stacks, and accelerating the host networking stack with smart NICs. We also have strong research groups on software security, network security, and security of emerging systems, including blockchain technology, 5G mobile networks, and self-driving vehicles. The video here shows one of our labs hacking Tesla uh, Autopilot. All of these efforts contribute to making the modern computing infrastructure more secure. One particular project that recently kickstarted is providing detection and defense against voice phishing for the public. The team is actually working with law enforcement to make a real-world impact. Those are cool. What about computer architecture, OS, and storage? All kinds of cool stuff is going on here as well. We design new hardware accelerators for AI, new memory systems for scale-out disaggregated computing, file systems that accommodate new types of storage, and operating system support for all of these. One of these technologies recently became the foundation of a startup. Wow, impressive stuff. I'm sure many students these days are interested in AI, machine learning, and data science. What's been happening in this space? Sure, so we're doing lots of exciting research in machine learning, data mining, and databases. In particular, we focus on algorithmic foundations of machine learning, graph mining, scalable machine learning, data-centric AI, and trustworthy AI. I'd like to highlight the trustworthy AI topic. As AI becomes more prevalent in our everyday lives, we not only have to make AI more accurate, but also need it to be fair, robust, private, transparent, and explainable. We need to address all these issues starting from the data. The video here shows one of your works on AI fairness. Thanks also for highlighting my research. It sounds like these research topics are all critical and timely. I understand we also have cool applications of AI in self-driving cars and drones. Yes, our division also does pioneering research on self-driving cars. As a recent highlight, one of our research groups competed in the inaugural CES Autonomous Racing Competition for the first time from Asia and finished in the top four in the world, as in this video. This team also builds drones and even flying cars. This is fascinating. I also know we have very strong research going on in mobile computing space. That's right, Ariba. Thanks for asking. So our research covers wireless communication all the way up to applications and services. We have done award-winning research on cross-technology communications, millimeter wave for 5G and 6G, and also battery-less communication. We also research on mobile sensing and ubiquitous computing. So this video right now demonstrates how we use only built-in smartphone sensors and apply machine learning to simply identify objects by knocking on them with your smartphone. We're also very hard at work for wearable computing. This video here shows a very lightweight wearable that detects when you eat food. In addition, we have a research portfolio on mobile operating systems, novel interaction methods, mobile AI and ML, federated learning, and even digital well-being. So our research not only has been presented and showcased at top international conferences, but also got recognized and received numerous awards. I think this is a true testament to the world-class research we have been conducting, and we are extremely proud of these achievements. 
So tell us about the professors in our division. Yes, I'd love to. So we have 19 world-renowned faculty members with diverse backgrounds in electrical engineering, computer science, mathematics, and mechanical engineering. Many of our professors have joint or agent appointments at the Graduate School of AI, Graduate School of Information Security, School of Computing, and Department of Semiconductor Systems Engineering. Note also that we are very aggressively recruiting new faculty members and we'll keep growing with the world-class leaders in research. So we'll be like a high-end buffet where students will have so many good options when selecting advisors and future collaborators. Our professors are all committed to top-rate research, education, and services, and they have been recognized for their contributions to cutting-edge research. They have won so many awards, too many to list here, so we just mentioned the key international awards, prizes, and recognitions. Right. They have also demonstrated international leadership in world-class ACM and IEEE conferences as both general chairs and technical program chairs. Oftentimes, these leadership positions were the first to be from Korea and even Asia. Right, so indeed we do have world-class professors, but it would have been impossible to do anything without our world-class students. So we are incredibly proud of the growth and achievements of our students. Absolutely, they are so awesome. These are some of the awards our students received. They went head-to-head -head against top students around the world to win these awards. In terms of job placements, our students are in high demand. We are well represented in top Korean companies and also flourished on the world stage as well. We list some of the international institutes to which our alumni have brought their talent. Our students have also grown into great professors. Just see the list of schools our alumni are now teaching at. Definitely top schools in Korea and also overseas. Some students are entrepreneurs and have successfully launched companies based on their research at KAIST. I highlight a few here and I'm sure most of you are familiar with some of these companies. So what about the courses? What are the courses the interested undergrad students must take? And can you guide us through the course tree? Sure. So we have a strong curriculum of basic and advanced courses. The first step is to learn fundamental topics, including discrete methods, probability theory, programming structures, data structures, and algorithms. You can then take advanced courses in systems, computer architecture, networks, security, big data, and robotics. So what do you guys all think is the best thing about the computer division? So to me, you can meet experts from diverse fields. Our computer division offers the opportunity to collaborate and research in such a rich environment. And I believe that the computer division is very open to all valuable resource topics. We can build our own resource areas based on great support. I really enjoy working with the people in the computer division. I believe we are in a good position to make a real impact on the world. That's right. Indeed, we have great talents and ample resources to make things happen. On top of that, we have already built a high reputation and strong visibility in what we're currently doing. I can't agree more. I think the best thing is that everyone really excels, and that motivates me to be a better research and educator. I really can't think of a better place to continuously grow. We are world class.